Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have a friend in Margot Robbie. The Aussie actress spoke to The Sun over the weekend about the couple's decision to split their time between the UK and North America. She said, quote, I have known Prince Harry for a while, and he is a really great guy. I know as much as anybody what a big decision it is to move halfway across the world. I still miss London a bit, but I had my reasons for moving, and they have their reasons for the decision. It isn't something to be taken lightly. The Harley Quinn star also extended an invite to the couple to have dinner with her and husband, Tom Ackerley, if they're ever in Los Angeles. The 29-year-old said, quote, If they are going to spend more time in L.A., we would love to have dinner with them. The invite comes after Meghan and Harry were photographed for the first time since their royal exit, and they were all smiles as they arrived back in Canada after visiting Stanford University. It also comes after it was revealed that the Duke and Duchess had let go of their 15 UK staff members. Access Hollywood chatted with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston, who broke down why the move was such a big deal. A lot of people are taking as a sign that they are done with the UK once and for all. They actually did it in person back in January when they spent those few days in the UK after their six week break in Canada while they were delivering the news that they were kind of done with their positions as senior royals. According to inside sources, Meghan and Harry had sought outside advice from people who weren't in that inner circle of kind of palace aides. They had looked to PRs in America, for example. They now no longer have the obligation to let people know where they're going to be and what they're going to do. Their meeting at Stanford University was held behind closed doors and was with several professors and academics. It wasn't something that, you know, members of the university were being invited to. They weren't giving a talk to lots of different students. They're kind of going about things very much in private. She also shared why she thinks the new video of Meghan Markle getting ready to be guest editor of the September issue of British Vogue may have been released intentionally during the shakeup. I don't think it's coincidental that that video came out just as the news broke about the fact that they had fired 15 members of staff. I think the two of them are very clearly trying to manage their public image.